Hello everybody, today I want to make a quick video about how we can program a brand new CVT transmission valve body, the one that comes with the CD from the dealer. Okay, um, I have tried to do this job with the hotel and it did not work. I actually know that I can definitely do it with the console 3 plus. This car is a 2018 uh, Ultima. So I know I can easily do that, but without spending money on subscriptions or using the OEM software, uh, we can also do it aftermarket way. Um, I have the launch. Uh, this is a Throttle 3. It's actually probably one of the best tools, if not the best tool of the launch. And, um, and actually, it works really great with the uh, Nissan and Infinity vehicles. I'll show you guys. Um, just go to Diagnose. Go to Auto Detect. Just like any other tool. I do get a lot of phone calls and uh, services about how you can program actually a CVT transmissions. Um, when it comes to the CD, people think that you have to use the OVM software, not all the time. Go to diagnostic. I have actually programmed this one. I'm just gonna show you guys how the procedures goes through. Uh, the, you know, what, what uh, steps you have to take in order to get there. When you get to this menu, just do automatic research. Confirm. Yes. All right, so from the list, this is the uh, topology. You can see also on a uh, system list. This device is just amazing. And as you see, you have online programming and configuration uh, for this vehicle, which is amazing actually. Uh, hotel, I don't think they have online programming. Uh, from here, we can go to TCM, transmission. Okay, you go to uh, Worksport. Um, it's not gonna be in here, I believe. Nope, sorry. It's gonna be in special functions. And as you see, we have in here right IP uh, characteristics, um, replacement automatic transmission slash CVT transmission or continuously variable transmission. So we're gonna go ahead and that hit that. Before we do that, I just wanna explain to you guys what is the difference. Sometimes people get confused. Basically, backup IP, IP characteristic replacement TCM, that's when you're replacing a transmission control module. If you want to retrieve some other information, um, some of the information regarding, especially, especially to the valve body, you can back it up using this option. And then once you change the transmission control module, you can restore it using the right IP characteristic replacement transmission. Uh, and then you'll be fine. It will transfer all your um, valve body information to that one. But right now, we're changing a valve body itself, which is a brand new one. This information, the information for this valve body, it's not stored in anywhere. So we're gonna uh, have to write it uh, manually into the system. This is a brand new one. It comes with a CD, as you guys, let me just show it to you guys. Something like that, okay. And as you guys see, there's a barcode on it. That's what we're going to be using. If you don't, I mean, if you do not want to use a launch, obviously um, you can just use the CD and use the OVM software and you can just program it in that way. It is the same exact uh, type of menu, basically. Instead of on the special function, it will be on the uh, for export uh, button. So if you just press in here and it tells you, make sure the label, the barcode and the numbers on them is in here is the same exact what you see on the valve body itself. There will be some writings on the valve body itself. They do need to match for the transmission to work correctly. And if you do not, if we do not do this procedure, this programming, uh, the warranty on that valve body will be uh, no longer valid. Okay, we're gonna press OK. And it says current status. There's nothing in there. That's normal. Um, I'm gonna actually try to do this one more time for you guys to see. Okay, so what it will ask me to do now is um, once I hit the start, let's see together. Vehicle is stopped. Engine is stopped. Uh, so let's turn the ignition off. The car was running. I'm gonna just leave the ignition on right now, as you guys see, okay? And um, I'm gonna, and then he asked me to do, uh, put the gear to the reverse. I'm gonna put that right now. And also, this is at the same time, press the accelerator pedal all the way down, basically. I'm gonna press okay. Completed. Now it says turn the ignition off for at least 10 seconds. I'm gonna release the gas pedal. Turn the ignition off. 
I'm also released the um I also released the um what is it called the brake pedal and my transmission is still in reverse I have my um handbrake on I'm not sure if I was supposed to put the transmission onto the reverse or park but I believe this will work I believe the 10 seconds is done uh, and then I'm gonna press okay now ignition on so ignition on and transmission in park press okay now this is the menu where we're gonna be uh, this is where we're gonna be using the uh, barcode to program it all right just so um gonna press in here scan and write the qr data um you can also sometimes retrieve the data online from the launch of servers um, most of the time it doesn't work but sometimes it might work you might get lucky if you just if you're replacing it with a used one uh, because sometimes the used one doesn't come with a barcode but you can also find that barcode on the transmission range uh selected switch on the transmission itself there's a barcode on that you can also use that barcode to do it so uh, from here i'm gonna just do scan and write qr code data and i'm gonna select the option scanning all right from here i'm gonna try to scan the barcode here we go it came right away and then press confirm ip characters data have been entered the serial number will be written to the tcm all right data writing has been completed yes writing completed the job is done guys and this transmission now works totally fine once the transmission was installed on this vehicle actually the transmission was hitting so hard every time you put from park to reverse and then to the neutral and to the drive so right now it doesn't do that at all the car you know just works perfectly fine so I'm just gonna turn the ignition off wait a few seconds start the car this transmission was jerking very hardly now you will see that transmission will be uh, perfectly fine I'm just changing through the gears and there is no heating at all it's just working perfectly fine right now thank you guys for watching and to the rest of your day